let's start. Every time as a chemical engineering, every time you do anything, you have to start with mass balance. Okay? If I'm going to do a mass balance around this system, if I have a cube with the size delta x, delta y, delta z, and suppose that there is a fluid flowing into the cube and going out of the tube with velocity v. And this velocity can be in any direction. But anyway, it can be taken to be vx, vy, and vz, right? So if I look at the mass going into the shell, in x direction, there will be vx. Okay, this is vx going at x, vx going out at x plus delta x. In y direction, it's going like this. This is vy at y. And going out somewhere around here, vy at y plus delta y. In z direction, you have vz at z going in, and vz at z plus delta z going out. So this velocity, the combined velocity, can be disassembled into three components. Okay? Then I can take a ma can do a mass balance. Equation for mass balance is always the rate of mass in or accumulated equal to the rate of mass in minus the rate of mass out. We do not have a um, generation of mass, okay? Because in our system, for the first chapter here, we will consider the system which is single component, no reaction, and uniform temperature. That means isothermal system and single component, okay? If there is only one single component, there will be no generation of mass. Now, the mass going in can be divided in three directions, in x, y, and z directions. Mass going out will be in three directions as well. So if I take in and out for each direction, right, like this, if I consider x direction, mass going in can be written by this term. <coughs> the velocity is Vx, okay? If you multiply it by density, what would you get? This is mass per volume multiplied by meter. You get mass per area. And that area is area perpendicular to x-axis. So in order to get rate of mass, you need to multiply by the perpendicular area, which is delta y, delta z, right? That would give you mass per time, okay? Everything here takes place at location x. Same thing apply for output. Output, you have area multiplied by mass flux at x plus delta x. So this is in and out in x direction. If you repeat the same thing for y direction as well, the area perpendicular to it would be delta x, delta z. And in Z direction. <coughs> 